How's it going everyone? My name is Joey. I'm a professional steeplechaser for Tim and Elite. And today we are talking about the Koros heart rate monitor. So the Koros heart rate monitor is actually an armband. It's uh, Koros's competitor to your typical heart rate monitors that are usually chest straps. And there's a lot of really cool things about this and we're gonna tell you everything about it today. So the main question that we get is, why do we have an additional heart rate monitor when we already have a heart rate monitor on our wrist? It uses optical sensors on your biceps specifically, basically using light to check the blood flow in your capillaries in your arm. So obviously when you're running, there's a lot of blood going through your arm specifically, but there's a little bit less blood flow going through all the way to your outer extremities in your wrists, in your hands. I think the biggest thing that people really rave about with the armband is that it's way more comfortable than a chest strap. Well, you don't get that same chafing in your sternum. It's just super sleek and snug on your bicep. A strap in general is just like very comfortable. It's also very flexible, really sleek, very comfortable, hardly notice it's there kind of arm strap. So what I like the most about the Koros armband is just the ease of use. Uh, it's super easy to connect not only to your Koros watch, but also to the Koros app. It's just like adding really any watch or any device to your Koros app. There's no buttons, there's nothing on here that you have to press. All you have to do is charge it and then put it on and then the wear detection technology automatically will pick up your heart rate and you'll be good to go. Just like any other piece of Koros technology, the battery life on these are unmatched. It has 38 hours of battery life in activity mode and then 80 days of battery life just in general standby mode. So this lasts me forever. I can't tell you the last time I had to charge it. So to put this kind of like in perspective, I use this for mainly like my threshold workouts, just because that's when I'm like really trying to nail down running the right pace, running the right effort, uh, staying below that lactate threshold. And I've actually found a correlation between my heart rate and when that spike may happen. And so for me, that's right around 175 beats per minute. My last double threshold workout, we worked out at a trail called Davidson Mesa. It's a pretty loose gravel trail that has a lot of bumps in it. So it's a little bit hilly, but not too bad. But it, if you're running the wrong effort up those hills, it really does cause your heart rate to spike. I was monitoring my heart rate data, seeing constantly under 175. It's like good, I'm chilling, doesn't matter whether we're going uphill or whether we're going downhill, I'm hitting the right splits. And at the same time, I'm staying under my lactate threshold. Second to last rep, our good friend Connor decides to push the pace a little bit. When I checked my watch uh, with my heart rate monitor data, it said 175. And then a couple seconds later, I actually did feel a little bit of like a, what I call like a flush in my head, which is usually when my lactate spikes. Looking back at my heart rate data from that rep, I was over 175. The last about 20 seconds of that rep, I was between 176 and 180, which like I said, is gonna be a little bit too high compared to like my 175 threshold that I found. When we're doing a double threshold workout where I'm getting in 23 miles in a day and I'm running 12 and a half miles of threshold work throughout a day. It's super important that I'm running the right effort because if I'm not, if I'm running too hard, it could lead to injury, it could lead to burnout and fatigue. And that's not something that we want at this point in the season. And so I think this is like a really good tool that allows you to have like a distraction free way to keep yourself accountable and keep check of your data in real time as you're working out. Just kind of rely on this little bit of technology to make sure that you're doing exactly what you need to be doing. We'll have a link in our description to, for you to access, check it out, do more research on it. It's been a super useful tool for me as I prepare for the Olympic trial steeplechase in June. Check it out. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more content like this, let us know. Let us know what you want to hear from us and we'll see you soon.